Hello everyone, that's Aiden over here, and as you always know, you have the incredible spreadsheet that we have here where this playlist is going to be. But one reminder, if you are seeing this video after 1.11.0.5 is live, do check the other playlist where I have the new videos because this one will only have the ones where we still had shadow dust available. If you don't know what that is, don't worry, but if you already know, it's time to go to the other playlist that I will keep updated. I will also put the video in the description, but here we are going to talk about normal and heroic and surreck cooldown timings and things that we might expect to play around. First of all, I recommend to play Trickster, even if that stalker is a little bit more boss damage, there are enough instances of cliff in the fight where Trickster is good and also you get a little bit of um, ghoul things to do because there are two mobs remember in the interface when you can cliff um, between them also of course the webs in phase one and at the end also the minions that you will see on this video this is my stream where I did heroic and surrect. there is no sound but I will run around the place just telling you things of course on the opener, as you know, we are a trickster expect. Let me mute this so you don't have any problems. And as trickster, we begin doing a triple dance. We get our slice and dice, we get our flagellation with rupture, and then you will see here me doing the triple dance. If you don't know what a triple dance is and you are in the new patch, it's not important. But if you are in this patch, remember I have a cool video to put things, and of course. As trickster, there's also one cool uh, thing that you can do. You can hit the boss from the front, faced, mazics, so bosses can't parry you. It's very useful on this boss because you will be hitting from the front a lot of the time. Now, as you can see here, I'm outside my three dances now, and I'm just going to use my symbols of death instantly, then get some damage there it's nothing crazy you use secret technique if you have enough cooldown reduction you don't if you don't have it now these webs we are going to totally kind of ignore them i'm just going to get some combo points over here and over there and you see i'm using one dance that is the in between dance before the triple dance that we will do again at 1 minute and 30 seconds. As you can see, because we were not Omega padding, we are not doing a lot of damage. Now at 1.30, we are going to do our second, let's say, triple dance. We go inside there, get our secret technique, our banish, everything. I remember that I didn't do this super well, but you can, of course, um do it a little bit later so that it coincides with this as you can see i got a secret technique and then a cope in everything on like that and then this is the third dance if you did this super well you would get the last secret technique inside that flagellation but i didn't little mistake this one we completely ignore again and then this will be the last jumpy that we do This is the hardest one, of course. As a rogue, you can actually just go away and shadow step to the boss, but you want to get uh, inside so your mates get less stacks. And then, of course, you dodge all of the grime thingies. And here, if you are a good player and very confident in your skill, you can just shadow step one of the casters that is in range with this rest, but I didn't want to make this boss longer if I died, so I'm just going to use now. We are going to do the season three or four tech that we had. We're going to use flagellation, then go inside of our dance, get the secret technique out, and use shadow blades. Why do we use this? Because in heroic, at least, the interface is not that important. In mythic, that will be different, and uh, in normal, it's also not that important. I jump because I have my trinket that I need to jump. And now we are on three minutes on something. We go with our assigned group. 
and then now we will do the intermission for these two ads this is also one of the reasons we are trickster we are going to get ruptures on two of these boys you can also shadow step the um, knockback i didn't do it because it was not really necessary you are going to only use one dance on these boys you may get some cooldown reduction from the smokes that come here but i just went directly to the other guy do remember to get your flowers formed and you did that and this lead to get there i got my flowers formed there from secret technique and then you cliff you can get a lot of damage on the smallies if you if you want but i don't recommend dancing on them just getting some shuriken storms and eviscerates with flawless form remember to backstab at least once if it's needed i will do it here as you can see now i have a coop ready then remember if you have coop ready we begin dance with coop then secret technique and this boy is dead we will go into the last phase now this this phase can be um, shorter or longer depending on your damage here i actually misplayed i shouldn't have the dance at the end there like on the last guy you can just not dance and everything so now i have to get some extra cooldown reduction from my things but we want to triple dance here as trickster if possible with your trinket i also had my tri i also didn't have my trinket ready the interface was too fast for it and also be on the side where the boss is going to jump instead of hitting it from the random place where i was hitting it now here there is some little guys that will spawn if this was mystic of course you will save cooldowns but i don't really care about that and you can see two warriors doing the blade spin thingies i get the shackles i should have been the one that went uh, into melee but the caster one was really just going into there don't mind you can remember that you can also put the two in front of the boss so i could have gone and done that if i wanted now in my case i only have one cooldown rotation left so i'm going to also use the season three season four dragonfly tech where we will flagellation and then blades i also stay here for a while instead of going to the other side you can go to the other side and keep hitting the boss of course that will do more damage i only wanted to play this very safe here i get my rupture go inside dance i didn't even need to banish it seems to get the cooldown reduction but if you did everything right you could have put that And the boss is dead of course if your damage is a little bit lower you will do less damage than me or more i also don't have transmitter so i'm doing a lot less damage than you would but as you can see it's not a super difficult fight to do it just takes quite a bit of time now uh, after this ends i'm going to talk about the build that you would kind of run remember you're going to be trickster but not this one you're going to run this one i'm going to leave this in the um, in the description there's also one thing about ansurek like Ivesa, there is not many things that one shot you but if you get any of the um, like waves or anything cheat death is good but apart from that or not the fight elusiveness is better because it's a lot of explosions that are really easy to know they are going to happen and dots well that is everything for this guide at least i didn't want to make it longer than 10 minutes so that's going to be it and then of course i'm going to do all the other normal heroic ones and then the mythic ones that i have the kill things ready have a nice day i'm going to see you in the next video subscribe like whatever